In a previous episode, I have mentioned that our ship's engine room is designed for UMS, or Unattended Machinery Space Operation. So, does that mean the engine room can be left running without people? There are two systems of work arrangement in a ship's engine room. The first is the conventional watchkeeping system, wherein the engine room is kept manned 24 hours a day by engineers who go on two four-hour shifts. The second one is the UMS, or Unattended Machinery Space Operation. The engine room is a 24-hour environment, meaning there are continuously running machinery, most notably the generator, pumps, and when the ship is underway, the main engine. On older ships with limited automation, conventional watchkeeping is employed as it is necessary to make frequent adjustments in order to keep the engine parameters like pressure and temperatures within normal working limits. On these ships, it is usual to have three engineers doing watchkeeping duties in two four-hour shifts. The fourth engineer goes on the 8 to 12 watch, third engineer on the 12 to 4, and the second engineer on the 4 to 8 watch. They are usually partnered with an oiler. That's the engine room equivalent of an able-bodied seaman. In this setup, the rest of the engine room team go on day work, while the watchkeepers usually put in two hours of overtime after their shift. Ships that are designed for UMS operation are equipped with sufficient automation in order to minimize or even eliminate the need for the engineers to make the adjustments themselves. These include temperature, pressure, and level controllers, as well as automatic starting and stopping of certain machinery, and of course, remote alarm monitoring systems. In this setup, the entire engine team does all their jobs during daytime. One engineer and one oiler is assigned to go on duty for 24 hours, meaning in addition to their work during the day, it will also be their turn to attend to any alarms that occur within that whole period. In the afternoon before knockoff from day work, the duty engineer will prepare the engine room for UMS in order to minimize the possibility of any alarms that might be triggered during the night while the engine room is unmanned. These preparations include the transferring of bilges, topping up the fuel tanks, cleaning filters, and going on rounds to make sure everything is in good working order before leaving the engine room unattended. Now, once confirmed that all is well, UMS operation begins and the remote alarm system is set to the duty engineer's cabin. UMS doesn't mean the engine room is left unattended for the entire night. At 2200 hours, the duty engineer will once again do his rounds and ensure that everything is still in good working order. After that, subsequent rounds will be made at preset intervals, usually by the duty oiler and the outgoing bridge watch keepers. Now, at any point during UMS operation that any abnormality occurs, an audible alarm will be triggered in the engine room, on the bridge, in the duty engineer's cabin, and in the common areas like the mess room, smoking, and recreation rooms. It will be the duty engineer's responsibility to attend to the alarm and rectify the problem. If in case the problem is beyond his capabilities, that will be the time to call the chief engineer. Now, 
whether conventional watch keeping or UMS, there will be times when alarms will be triggered and fixing it can't wait until morning. When that happens, the engine team will have to work on it immediately, even if it takes the entire night to fix it. Lastly, there are certain conditions when the engine room should not be shifted to UMS operation. For example, if any critical machinery or alarm system is malfunctioning, or when the ship is maneuvering like when entering or leaving port, or transiting through heavy traffic or narrow passages, or during extremely heavy weather. Basically, in any situation where there are abnormal conditions present, the engine room should revert to conventional watchkeeping arrangement. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Once again, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.